Hi and welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let us see the topic of detection and localization of multiple spoofing attackers in wireless network. In the wireless network, if there is an attacker means how to detect and localize the area is the process of our project. Let us see the abstract of our project. Nowadays, wireless spoofing attacks are easy to launch and can significantly impact the performance of network. Though the node identity can be verified by the cryptographic authentication, the conventional security approaches are not always applicable because of its overhead requirement. So we propose a physical property that is received signal strength which is associated with each node and it is hard to falsify and not reliant on cryptography. It works as a, as a basis for the following process. The first step is to detecting the spoofing attack. The second step is to determine number of attackers when multiple adversaries masquerading as the same node identity. Then the final step is to localize the multiple adversaries. These are the steps involved in our project. Let us see the flow of our project. Our process starts with gate, that is generalized attack detection model. This gate is divided into two process. The first one is spoofing attack detection and the another one is attacker number determination. For the spoofing attack detection, we use the process of RSS, that is received signal strength. Further, we use the cluster analysis and the result is finalized whether there is an attack happened or not. In the attacker number detection, it includes the system evolution process which is used to estimate the number of clusters. Then the result is identified. Both results from spoofing attack determination and the attacker number determination are integrated and get into the process of IDLE. IDLE, is, IDLE means Integrated Detection and Localization Framework. In that, the Bayesian network calculation is used to identify the location of the attackers. Let us see the process of our project. First, enter into the home page. The number of nodes required to draw is given in the text box. If we click the node displays button, it will show the nodes which is present in the network. Next, we have to go to the page, next page, Euclidean. In this page, we have to calculate the distance between each node. So, the formula is given as distance is equal to square root of x1 minus x, x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square. So, if we click the distance button, it will show that the distance are calculated for all the nodes. Then, if we want to sh uh, show the details of the nodes distance means, we have to view the data. So, the values of each node's x, y position and the Euclidean distance calculate for each node is given in the table. We have to go to the next page. Using the file chooser, we have to choose a file. So, d colon, choose any file from the file chooser. So it, uh, it will open in the, the selected file will be open in the text box and the data is transmitted. So on the other side we have to run the client page. So here if we click the data received button means it will show the receiving status of the file and the transmission time in seconds. So the receiving status of the file is file received successfully and the transmission time taken to transmit a file from one node to the another is it takes 10 minutes. So next we have to calculate the RSS that is received signal strength value using the time calculator. So RSS value are calculated. If you want to see the values of the RSS means we have to click the view data and the RSS value are shown in the table. We have to go to the next page. In this page we have to divide the nodes into different clusters. So the nodes are divided into two clusters. If you want to know the details of the clusters 1 means we have to click the view cluster 1. So it will show the nodes number and the RSS value and the Euclidean distance value are shown in the table. If you want to see the cluster 2 detail of the nodes 
we have to click the view cluster 2 so it contains the nodes 2 4 6 and 8 next we have to go to the next page in this page we have to choose the midoids that is midoids means uh, uh, each node from uh, each each clusters so from cluster 1 i'll choose 7 as midoid i and in the cluster 2 i choose midoid 2 as the midoid j so using this midoids i have to calculate the distance between midoids so distance between two midoids are calculated so if you want to know the data of the midoid distance means we have to click the view data the value of the midoid distance is 51 then if the value of the distance that is midoid distance is greater than the time calculated to transfer the file means then the reduction occurs in the wireless network so we have to go to the next page in the attacker number deduction, we have to calculate the partition energy. So partition energy is calculated using the formula E P of K. It is described here. So if you click the partition energy button, it will show the details of number of nodes in cluster 1 and the number of nodes in cluster 2 and the sum of the Euclidean distance sum 1 and the sum of the Euclidean distance sum 2. Then the EPK is calculated using the formula EPK is equal to 1 divided by NA plus NB star sum 1 plus sum 2. So then the value is inserted successfully. Then we have to go to the next page. In this page we have to calculate the merging energy. The merging energy is calculated using the formula EM of K that is is equal to 1 divided by NA plus NB divided by 2 into sum 1 into sum 2. So in the same way if we click the merging energy means the values are displayed and the merging energy is calculated as 2147483647. So if we click the save button means the data are inserted successfully. Then we have to go to the next page. In this page if the value of k is equal to n means then ep of n is greater than em of n means then we have to click the number of clusters we are divided in this we divide the clusters we divide the nodes into two so we give two in the text box so if we click the adversaries button then the ep of two is less than e em of two so the number of attacker is three in the wireless network so the values are displayed here so we have to go to the next page so here the bayesian network is calculated using the formula sa is equal to b not i plus b1 i log di so if you click the bayesian network the si values are calculated if you want to display the si value means we have to click the view data button so the values are displayed then we have to go to the next page in this page if we click the attacker button means the attacker or localized detail is displayed then if you have to uh, click the localization buttons means the nodes which are considered as the no, um, which are considered as the attacker are displayed in the table that is 1 2 and 5 if we click the attack detail means uh, the spoofing attack happened result is displayed and the number of attacker is 3 <coughs> If you want to localize the area means we have to click the localization of attacker. So the attacker nodes are 1, 2 and 5 and their xy position is 147, 28, 29, 139, 37, 117. So we have to go to the next page. So here uh, we will show some graph representation. So if we click the localization button means area of node having high SI value is chosen. The node which have the maximum SI value is displayed here and their XY position is displayed. Thank you.